Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today is a brand new Reddit recap. So let's get started. You guys know I always like to start off by telling you how many people are actually on the Reddit, and it looks like we are up to 1,700 people, so maybe we can get it to 2K really soon. I think that'd be awesome. Hey, Top Pops, can you add some New York Comic Con Funko Pops to the back? Just a nice change. Actually, I didn't even notice. We have about, was it at least five that we could put in the background? Sure, why not? All right, so I found six different figures that we could put in the background, so let's pop them up there. Of course, we've got to start with the Mermaid Man up in the top corner. I think this one's going to look pretty good. I hope you guys can see it. Wait, can you? Maybe. I don't know. Let me see. I can push this one back. Is there even room up here? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, yes, there is. Aha, there's a little bit of room. Yes, we do have some room. So let's move him back, and then let's put the Mermaid Man right in the front. Can you guys see that? I, uh, yeah, you can see it. That's good. Now, the next one here, I know I don't have room for it, so we're going to have to take some of the ones out of the back that aren't Pokemon figures and move them to the other video game section. But we do have the Flocked Growlithe, as well as the Flocked Angry Pikachu. So let's pop them up there. So the first two rows are the Pokemon Pops, and then the back row is just a bunch of random stuff. Like, we've got Cuphead back there, as well as some Fallout one so we'll have to move these ones here well the good news is is that the ones that I took off the shelf were actually the angry Pikachu as well as the Growlithe so that's perfect plus we already have enough Pikachus in the front so I feel like we don't need more of them up here so I can push another one of the Pikachus to the back because we had like three three in the front that's a lot of Pikachu all right not too bad those ones actually look really great so we've got the Growlithe one here as well as the Pikachu one here I'll probably move one of the Pikachu ones to the back again once I get a new figure in because we do have two of the Pikachus there but next up we've got the office with the Dwight Schrute as Recyclops V3 and I'm pretty sure we have some open space there we might have to push Golden Face Jim back I feel bad about that one but this one is newer than that one and there's a little bit of room so there he goes, right there. And then of course, guys, we've got these two right here. We've got the Dumb Drums Drum Man and Captain Crook. Now I'd have to move a couple of these ones right here. Uh, this is gonna be tough. I think what we'll probably do, guys, is move the... Uh, let's move Jolly Bee for sure. And then Lil Sweet, I think we can live without him back here. All right guys, so it looks like these two are gonna be going in the top left corner here, and they look pretty good. Tristan, when he sees a lady walking with the last chase from the store, I am speed. I'm just gonna leave this one here. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I didn't hit the lady. You guys know that. Gotta go fast. Tristan's face though. Ha ha ha. She had to come. I didn't hit a lady. I didn't. I didn't. There's one imposter among us. Okay, this this one's pretty funny. Green kind of sus. Green was not the imposter. Hmm. I don't know. Green looks a little suspicious here. Top Pops hit me with a car. I am the very real woman who Top Pops hit with his car and then he took my SDCC pop. No, I know this is you, but hmm. Well, I don't know how I'm going to get around this one if they actually found the lady that I hit. Oh, no, no! Hold on! Hold on! It says Top Plops. Wasn't me. Mom, Mom, sh that lady's got the last 10-inch Chucky. Quick, quick, get her! Hit her! Among Us is like seven of us waiting for you. Uh, I'm in the middle of a Reddit recap right now, Rye. Baba boy. A rare photo of Tristan selling his kidney for Funko Pop money. I don't know how they got cameras in there. You weren't allowed to take photos while they were doing the search. Hmm. I'm gonna have to talk to them about this one. Also, to be fair, you really only need one kidney, so free pops. Now this one's here from Awesome Ashley, and she normally does pop concepts over here on the Reddit, but today she's celebrating her 50th pop and decided to finally share her collection to the subreddit. So this is cool. I wonder what your 50th pop was. Did she say? I don't know if she did. No, I want to know. Awesome, Ashley, if you're watching, I would love for you to post which one was your 50th. But yeah, you've got some really great pops here. And I really like that Pinocchio one there, guys. That's the Pop in a Box exclusive, and it kind of has a glare, but it's still a really great figure. My local Walmart is being overrun by zombies. I have been hearing that a lot of the Walmarts in the U.S. have been getting filled with these zombie Funko Pops. I personally really enjoy them, but if you're looking for some other stuff, I don't think you're going to be finding very many of them, because it looks like the entire section is filled with these guys. Also, I don't know if they're going to be getting these ones in stores, but they they did have the 10 inch versions of all of these on their website, so I feel like you guys are gonna be seeing these ones for a while. Okay, who found this? It says we need to get Tristan that $5,000 chair. We somehow need to find a way for Tristan to get this chair. Rip and dip, what would you do for the Alien Plus chair? And I said, make a dedicated YouTube video. Trust me, it would be good. And honestly, if I did make a video, it would be amazing. I don't know how Quacker Joker found this comment. I guess you must follow Rip and Dip, but that is pretty funny. I was kind of joking, but if we could do it somehow, that'd be awesome. Rip and Dip, if you're watching, I'm buying your YouTube's when it comes out, or at least I'm gonna try to. I know it's limited to a thousand, so it's gonna be kind of tough to get, but Rip and Dip, if you're watching, I am buying your YouTube, so maybe, maybe we could work out something with this chair. 
I, I doubt it, but hey, you never know. Just picked up this from Tesco. It was 40 pounds on sale for 20. What a bargain. Happy to have this in the collection. I do agree this is a great bargain, especially because most of these figures go for probably around $20 anyways. And I don't know what this set goes for altogether, so why don't we check? I'm hoping they have it on Pop Price Guide, because if they don't, I don't know where we're going to find the price. Well, guys, it looks like they do not have it over here on Pop Price Guide, so if one of you guys have ever seen it sold on, like, eBay or something like that, let me know what it went for in the comment section below. First non-duplicate out of tutorial. Now, this is a great figure. I do not have this one, and if you guys don't know what this is from, this is from Funko Pop Blitz. I was playing this game the other day in a video, and it's really a lot of fun. I actually been playing a lot recently, maybe a little too much, but yeah, I just about finished the brand new event going on right now, which is all about Jurassic Park. I think I just need a couple more stars and then I've completed every single one of them. But yeah, the game is a lot of fun. Yo, Tristan, you didn't just get a chase. You got the artist proof, which is what the artists of the figures use to look over the figure for the color and things like that. Now this one, actually, I got a lot of comments about it. And if you guys look under where it would normally say the limited edition number, like one out of 500 or one out of 2000 or whatever the number is, it says AP instead. And like he had said, this is the one that the actual artists use to make sure the figures look okay. And I'm guessing this is because Funko shipped them to me directly. Maybe they came from upstairs at the HQ. That's actually really cool to think about. But yeah, this is something amazing that I never expected to get for the collection, so it's cool that I now have three of them. Man, I'm loving this four pictures, one word game. No, 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 skip, skip. <laughs> Skip. Mail call yesterday. Surprised that it came in safe from Entertainment Earth. And it looks like he got in the glow-in-the-dark zombie Wolverine. You know what? Hold on. Let me go get something. I also happened to just get in the figure, so I thought, why not open it up today? And from looking at his photos, it looks like the part that glows is like the green kind of goo color. And I kind of wish they did that with every single one of these ones. All right, guys. So it looks like the pop was the zombie Wolverine. And here it is right here. I don't order much from them. So I was guessing it was this one here. But yeah, it actually looks really great. And like he had shown in the photo, everything that glows is like the green kind of goo. I think it's goo. I'm not too sure actually what it is. I also really like the brand new Entertainment Earth exclusive stickers. I don't know if I have any of the older Entertainment Earth stickers, but I know they switched it up recently. And this one, in my opinion, looks a lot nicer. Do I have any of the old Entertainment Earth stickers? I'm trying to look around to see if I do. I 100% do somewhere. I just don't know which ones they would be. Huh. Well, guys, I've been looking around for about a minute or two, and I can't seem to find any single figure that has this Entertainment Earth sticker. I don't even know how this is possible. I swear I have a couple of the older ones. Well, anyways, guys, whatever it looks like, it's on the screen right now. But anyways, guys, I think this is a great place to end the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. Fold. School. 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 Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lashes.